Here's a step-by-step -step presentation of how to run Tivolution on your Steam Deck. So I've connected it to an external monitor, keyboard and mouse, and uh, um, switched to desktop here. So I'm going to open a browser, Firefox. And I'll type the following, omega.gg, and press Enter. You can maximize this. So you click on Tvolution here. You click here and download. So from here, you get a self-contained package that you'll be able to run on SteamOS without additional dependencies. So we'll click here on Show All Downloads. Right-click there, Show in Folder. Here, I've already downloaded this archive previously, so I'll just extract it and extract here. Keep in mind, you could extract it wherever you want. Then I click on this folder that just got extracted. And here, you should have a binary called Tvolution. So I'll double click on it, and I should be able to execute it. And just like that, Tvolution is running on SteamOS, desktop mode. So that's good. But what we, what we really want to do here is actually add it to the Steam Launcher. So we'll do that just now. You open Steam. You click here, add a game. Add a non-Steam game. You click on Browse. And here, you click on the drop-down menu and you look for slash home slash deck. Then you scroll a little bit, downloads. And the path here should be home deck downloads and you click on Tvolution. And in the folder, you, you won't see the binary. That's because it's filtered incorrectly. So you click there and click all files. Then you select Tvolution and click open. Once you're there, it should be checked here. So you click Add Selected Programs. And just like that, you've added Tvolution to the Steam library. It's right here. So next, what we want to do is actually return to gaming mode. So let's do this. So now I've just rebooted, and I'm on the Steam Home. So as you can see, there's a new Tvolution uh, application here. It's a little bit abstract, but you can select it. And then you want to hit play. And here we go. We have Tvolution running from the Steam Launcher. So next, what you want to do is actually scan that QR code, which is called a video tag, by the way. So you open your scanner and you scan it and you click open. Congratulations, you've just opened a video tag. Click on the monkey, click on download. And whether you're having an Android phone or an iPhone, you should be able to download the application on your device. Next, you want to open it. So now monkey is running, so I'll select the camera here and select the code. And as you can see, they are now paired. So. We'll search for something. And now both displays are mirrored, and I can skim through them. And the content and the cover are replicated from one device to the other. And once I found what I like, I just hit play. And playback should be starting. I have a bunch of options here. I can switch to full screen. I can show the video tag. I can tweak the volume. So this is how you turn your Steam Deck into a modern internet television that supports a bunch of protocols. YouTube Dailymotion Vimeo, Dailymotion SoundCloud, and a few other. And so, hopefully it will be useful for you, 
And uh, yeah, thank you.